student today we are going to discuss one another decomposition method cholesky's or square root decomposition methods so in this lecture first of all we discuss about a theoretical sum in a five, uh, less than 5 minutes we discuss about the theoretical aspects of a cholesky's method or a square root method then we solve a one numerical example how we solve a any system of a linear equation by Cholesky's method or square root method. So, now let us discuss about a theoretical aspect of a Cholesky's method. Means, uh, suppose here we take a system of a linear equation and suppose that system of a linear equation having a n unknowns and n equations. So, suppose this one is a general system of a linear equation a 1 1 x 1 plus a 1 2 x 2 up to a 1 n x n. This one is a first linear equation. Similarly, second equation is a a 2 1 x 1 plus a 2 2 x 2 up to a 2 n x n equal b 2. Similarly, a n 1 x 1 plus a n 2 x 2 up to a n n x n equal b n. Suppose this one is a given system of a linear equation. This one is a given system of a linear equation. Then we write this system of a linear equation in a matrix form. Matrix form of a this system of a linear equation is a what? Matrix form. Matrix form of system of a linear equation. System of linear equation, linear equation is about a x equal b means a x equal b, where a is about a is a coefficient matrix of unknowns. Coefficient matrix of unknown means a coefficient of a x one, coefficient of a x two, coefficient of a x n. So, here we write a 1 1, a 1 2 up to a 1 n, a 2 1, a 2 2 up to a 2 n. Similarly, a n 1, a n 2 up to a n n. So, this one is a coefficient matrix of unknowns. Then we write what? Then we write uh, unknowns, a vector of unknown x 1, x 2, x 3 up to x n, this one equal to what? This one equal b 1, b 2 up to b n. So, we denote this matrix coefficient matrix A, vector means a vector of unknown by the x and the values of our right hand side by the b. So, suppose first of all we write a given system of a linear equation in a matrix form, matrix A x equal b. Now, once we write a given system of a linear equation in a matrix form means a ax equal b, ax equal b, then we check that the uh, property of a matrix A. So, if A is positive, uh, A is symmetric matrix, if A is symmetric, symmetric symmetric and positive definite and positive definite positive definite definite. So, for a given system of a linear equation A x equal b if A is a symmetric and positive definite then then only then only we apply apply the Cholesky's method, the Cholesky method, Cholesky method. So, if uh, first of all we check the matrix A is a symmetric matrix or not. So, and positive definite also. 
if this one not satisfy then be unable to apply the Cholesky's method. So, if this one satisfy means A is a symmetric and positive definite then by the property of a matrix you may write means uh, you may write A equal L into L transpose or U into U transpose where U is a where L is a where L is a lower triangular matrix lower triangular matrix and U is a upper triangular matrix U is a upper triangular matrix. If A is a symmetric and positive definite, then only we decompose the A equal L and L transpose, L into L transpose or U into U transpose. Here we are going to use A equal L into L transpose, means we decompose the matrix A as a lower triangular matrix and transpose of a lower triangular matrix. If this property does not satisfy, then you cannot decompose the matrix A as a lower triangular matrix into transpose of a lower triangular matrix. So, once we decompose A equal L into L transpose, then we write suppose this one is equation number 1, equation number 1. Now, now equation 1, equation 1, now equation 1 become what? A x equal B, here we write the value of A that we decompose into L and L transpose. So, here we write a L into L transpose x equal B, then as usual in a all other decomposition method, we assume that L transpose x equal y. So, now again, now again, now again, again let L transpose x equal y, where y is a what? y is a column vector, where y is a column vector you may also write y or z. So, where y is a column vector, y is column vector, vector such as such as column vector y equal y 1, y 2 up to how many number of uh, unknowns? n unknowns. Means, a number of uh, unknowns equal to the number of a uh, equation. So, this one is a uh, L transpose x equal y. Once we put L transpose x equal y, then this expression suppose this one is equation number 2. So, after putting L transpose x equal y, the equation second become what? L y equal b. Suppose this one is equation number, this one is equation number 4, this one is equation number 3 and this one is equation number 4. Now, what is our aim? Our aim is now to solve this system of a linear equation L transpose x. equal y and L y equal v. Once we find the value of uh, y, then we solve L y equal b. So, in the next slide, we write what? We write there are two steps. Uh, there are two steps to find out a solution of a any system of a linear equation by Cholesky's method. So, first step first step, first step we solve what? 
L transpose, L transpose, what we write here? L transpose, sorry, first we solve L y equal b. First we solve L y equal b. First we solve L y equal b. L y equal v. Solve L y equal v. In a second step, in a first step we solve L y equal b, then we find the values of a y. Once we find the values of a y, then what will happen? Then in a second step, in a second step, we find the solution of a what? L transpose x equal y in order to find out a, the value of our original unknowns. So, this one is a summary of a Cholesky's method means a, with the help of a Cholesky's method how we find a solution of a system of a linear equation. Third. So, once again summary of a Cholesky's method. So, for given system of a linear equation first of all we write a given system of a linear equation in a matrix form then we examine the property of a, a if A is a symmetric and positive definite then only be able to apply the Cholesky's method or you may say in other word then we able to decompose A as a L into L transpose. Once we decompose A as a L into L transpose, then we write a given system of a linear equation A x equal B in place of a, a, we write L into L transpose. Then the given system of a linear equation become L into L transpose x equal V. Then we again assume that L transpose x equal Y then the given system of a linear equation in a matrix form become L y equal V. Then we solve L y equal to V by forward substitution, uh, not a forward substitution means a, okay, forward substitution. Then again we solve L transpose x equal Y with the help of a backward substitution in order to find out a values of a original values of a unknown. So, this one is all about this lecture. Thank you. Thank you. Joining my lectures. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you.